Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So it's middle of March and currently it's snowing. I'm so fed up with this weather, fed up of wearing coats, boots. So to cheer myself up, I was looking online at different fashion publications to see what's, what are the fashion trends for spring, summer 2023. And I thought it would be fun if we sit together and go through them and see we will wear any of it or not. Do you follow trends? I don't think you have to follow trends or you can pick and choose bits from the current trends. You just wear what you really like. There is no fashion police out there. Another thing is you might hear, oh, this is not age appropriate, especially at our age. You know, you get called Martin dressed as lamb. I want to say one thing, only babies' clothes come in ages. Adults' clothes come in sizes, not ages. So if it makes you feel good, confident, and you like it, wear it. Who cares? Who cares what other people think? So, you know, when you watch the catwalks or you look at Vogue magazine, obviously you're not going to take these trends literally. But you can just pick and choose. Would it be colors that are in or certain shape of skirts, dresses? You don't have to follow it literally. And a lot of things will influence what you wear. You know, it depends where you live, for example. If you live in a coastal town, you're not going to, um, I suppose, dress up the same way you would in a big city, you know, like a fashion city like London, New York, Paris. Or if you live in a small town or small village. Also, your lifestyle will influence the way you dress. You know, do you work in an office? Do you work at home? Are you stay at home mom or just a retired person that enjoys life? So all this you have to take to consideration. And the last thing is your body shape. You know, there could be some trends that are absolutely not good for your body shape. They're not going to enhance the way you look. They're just going to make you look worse. So you have to take all these things to consideration, I suppose. Let me scoot up here so I can put some examples on the side here for you. Basically, I feel like this trend is late 80s, 90s. So nothing new really to us if you're around my age, been there, done that, bought the clothes. But obviously every decade they put a different spin on it. So let's start with colors. I'm quite excited. So cobalt blue, absolutely love it. I already have a pair. Do you remember a pair that I bought last year in Zara of lovely cobalt blue trousers? So I already have something that will fit with this year's trend. And obviously you don't have to dress head to toe in cobalt. You can just um, use it as an accent color. Uh, pick a bag or shoes or maybe a top but if you want to do it head to toe go for it I really love the same color head to toe I think it looks very elegant then we have all shades of pink of course I love pink but there will be a lot of like really pale pastels pastel pinks maybe not as many bright fuchsia pinks and I don't care because I love both. Then all shades of lavender and lilac, and that's beautiful. And a lot of those lavenders will be calm, muted, very feminine. So I really, really like that idea. I love those lovely muted lilacs too. Red, crisp, true red, and also saffron red, sort of bright, orangey red. I am not really red person but if I get the right tone and shade of red I love it. So that's another thing you might say oh I don't look good in red I don't look good in blue. There is a shade of each color for everyone. It depends if you are cool or warm you need to choose 
appropriate tone and the tone of certain color to suit you. There will be a blue for everybody. There will be yellow for everybody. For example, I don't look good in mustard yellows, like warm yellows, but I look good in bright like fluorescent or pastel yellows. So there is a color for everybody. You just have to choose the right shade. Talking of yellow, bright yellow is in. And I'm so, so happy. You know how much I love yellow. Then some greens, especially lime green. Still love lime green. Mass. I love any bright color really. So I'm down for all this colorful palette for this summer. And all crisp white. Again, love white. Beiges, which and, you know, if you are not into bright colors, you can dress head to toe in nice creams and beiges and maybe use one of the colors that are in as an accent, as a handbag or your shoes. And then we are going to have a lot of summer black as well. Um, I don't wear much black in a summer, but I think if I had a nice summery dress, dress in black, I would like that, especially if I have tan on because I think if you are really really pale and you put black on it can really drag you down. So these will be the main colors that will be in this summer and I love them all. Okay let's talk about denim and jeans. Denim is going nowhere if anything they doubling down on denim. Denim on denim is going to be everywhere. Now looks like skinny jeans are out Although I'm not wearing as many skinny jeans, I like very, very slim jeans. So the ones that don't really hug your ankle completely like leggings, but have a bit of, uh, you know, wider hem. The jeans are going to be much more oversized and baggy and relaxed. And I'm not here for it. So I even saw, I don't know if I have a picture of Kate Moss on the catwalk wearing really baggy shapeless pair of jeans and she just looked awful. I'm sorry, if Kate Moss looks awful in that, I've got no chance. I feel like baggy jeans without any shape suit only tall and very slim people and also people that don't have too many curves. I cannot imagine myself wearing just straight baggy jeans with flat shoes. I'm only five foot five. I have wide hips. I would just look like I'm wearing a bag or my husband's jeans or like a square. So I will look for something other than, you know, slim jeans maybe more of a bootcut jean, I don't know, something that will hug my shape a bit. And I would always have to wear heels with that type of jean. So, and my lifestyle, what I do, doesn't really require wearing heels a lot. Denim skirts, they will be everywhere but maxi denim skirts. In fact, maxi skirts everywhere. You know, I don't, I don't own even one skirt. I don't wear skirts, I don't know. Maybe I haven't found one that suits my body shape, but I feel really frumpy in skirts. So you can wear any shape of denim skirt as long as it's a maxi denim skirt. I feel that um, because obviously denim is much thicker of a fabric that it would add bulk and I would look even bigger. So I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe if I wore nice fitted long denim skirt it would be a different story. But you know me, I don't really like skirts. But my mission this year is to find a skirt that I'm going to feel good in and look good in. So we will see. The next trend is the biggest no-no for me in this whole scenario. So the high waist is out, 
thank God I don't like high-waisted either. You know how I feel about high-waisted uh, jeans. I feel like they make your bum look that long and if they fit you nicely in your waist when you sit down they push your belly out so don't like high-waisted. I love my jeans about centimeter two centimeters below my belly button that's my um, I would call that regular rise that's my ideal rise in trousers or or jeans mind you I don't mind high-waisted trousers because they flow nicely so sometimes they can be very flattering it's totally different fabric but no high-waisted jeans so this year the rise is going to be very very low like it used to be one if you are my age or older and you've got amazing figure you've got six pack and your stomach's look, stomach looks lovely go for it i probably would if i looked that good the next trend knitwear summer knitwear but like crochet one so almost like a cobweb look we've done that before as well now i quite like this look but on the catwalks you can see it a lot with you know pretty brass or bralettes underneath i definitely won't be doing that because that's again uh, showing too much of my body the parts of my body that i don't want anybody to see <laughs> but you could still wear it i suppose with a little camisole underneath and wear that over it so or even you know those cobweb type of crochet dresses if you had a, like a big slip under it then that will look nice as well so that's not too bad if i find something it probably would be a top um that i like then yes i could wear it with a camisole underneath metallics bring on the 90s the big ball gowns ruffles flowers and metallics i'm not mad at it but obviously I would only wear it if I was going out somewhere. I don't go to nightclubs anymore. <laughs> I don't go to many fashionable parties anymore. So I probably won't wear it. But if I was going to, I don't know, birthday party or something like this, I could incorporate something metallic, maybe a handbag or even nice metallic top. So metallics, I quite like them it's just that for my lifestyle and what I do I probably won't need that in my wardrobe another trend tassels tassels everywhere tassels on your skirt on your dress on your top I've never been into tassels so um, first of all they annoying very impractical so tassels are probably a no-no for me the next trend flowers but not in a print in a print type corsage so dresses with a enormous flower embellished on your bodies or even a top that the front of it is just a flower a corsage and that reminds me so much of 90s as well so i think that's quite feminine girly cute i like it I don't mind I in fact have a box of big flower corsages that I might use this year so yeah I think that's pretty fun girly and feminine trend I like it when it comes to prints forget the tie-dye no more tie-dye they will be more like a blurry wavy um, digital digitally manipulated prints i don't know how i feel about that if maybe the color combination is right i might quite like that in a top but and depends what the print is like because that can distort i think the way you look as well you know when it comes to your shape so i don't know how i feel about that if i find find the top that has the right color combination that i like in a nice print i probably wouldn't mind wearing that this trend i'm very excited about as i said i love trousers 
and trousers in every way are in fashion. Long, cropped, pedal pushers, slim, wide hem, boot cut, they all in fashion. So I'm really, really happy with that trend. I quite like long flowy trousers. I like any trouser. So I am quite excited for that trend and I'm glad that they didn't suddenly said that's it, no more trousers or only one shape of trousers you can wear. Another trend, leather looks. Leather is going to be everywhere. Leather on leather, leather skirts, um, a lot of um, leather biker jackets coming back. So biker jackets have never been out of fashion really. I don't think you ever would look unfashionable if you put on a leather biker jacket. I'm not into leather biker jackets because that's just not my style. I think you have to be a really cool cheek and I don't feel like I'm a cool cheek. So I don't mind a leather jacket, but um, biker jacket, it depends. If it was just a, not like a proper, proper biker jacket, you know, I don't know, but I'm not that into it. I have those um, leather look trousers from Zara, the cropped ones, you know, sort of slightly boot cut. Um, I really like those, so I can, I can wear those. Asymmetric lines. So again, the hems of your skirts, dresses, asymmetric. I even saw some, say a bit fitted dress, not too long with a train on the side or at the back. So asymmetric lines. I quite like that trend. Asymmetric hems can be quite flattering. So yes, but again, I don't wear many skirts or dresses. So we will see how that goes. Cargo, cargo, pockets on everything, everywhere, skirt, trousers, on everything that this you need to be uh, I think that's quite a cool look and also pockets can make you look bigger wider so for me I would have to find something that where pockets are strategically placed um, you do you remember I got a pair of silk sort of cargo trousers from Lily Silk they were very nice it's just that I ordered a pair that was far too big for me, but they were very nice. So that I didn't mind, maybe because it was silk, the, therefore fabric is very flowy, so the pockets didn't stick out. I don't like the, the regular cargo pants. So maybe look for different fabrics as well, because the more the flowy the fabric is, the better it will look. Okay, transparent tops sheer definitely not into that again you have to wear some sort of pretty bra or bralette underneath and again i don't want to show off that much skin so i will leave that um, trend for someone else i definitely won't be wearing transparent tops and i'm you can see i'm talking really transparent not just that you can see slightly a bra underneath that I don't mind but this is like I can see your body this is more almost like nightwear now shoes ballet shoes a bag big 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 time especially satin ones and I don't mind ballet shoes um, they are not too flattering um, especially the ones with really round toe I feel like they make your whole leg look a bit stubby, maybe with a pointy uh, toe, but I keep seeing all those like proper ballet round, round toe shoes. They are comfortable and practical, obviously, so I'm not mad at that. I've got quite a few ballet type of shoes, so that's fine. Handbags. Small crossbody bags are out huge huge bags are in fashion and again practical when you go shopping big bag can put your whole life in it but i 
it's not that I don't like them. I think they look cool, they're great. But again, I would have to find something that will not slip from my shoulder. I've got quite narrow shoulders. Well, do I? I don't know. But whenever I wear those big bags on my shoulder, they always slip from my shoulder, which is very annoying. And if I go shopping, I want to have free hands so I can rummage through things. That's why I love my crossbody bags. And I feel safe with having my bag crossbody. So yes, big bags, great but I think I'm not gonna give up on my crossbody bags just for the practical reasons really. And the last thing, earrings, shoulder skimming earrings, long dangly earrings. I'm all for it. I remember wearing long dangly earrings and I love it. Earrings are great. So that I definitely will be looking at. Obviously you don't have to wear huge dangly earrings because you might look a bit ridiculous when you're just shopping in a supermarket but yes dangly e earrings i'm all for it so these were the main trends for spring summer 2023 basically back to 90s ladies back to 90s so i will be picking and choosing elements from those trends but they have to suit my lifestyle my body shape and if they make me feel good confident then I will wear it uh, you know like I said I won't wear the sheer things but if you are proud of your body and you feel good in it you go for it more power to you that's how we express ourselves through clothes makeup hair um, so go for it okay my lovelies let me know do you like the trends what will you be wearing do you hate it all what you like, what you don't like, let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.